Lining the hallway outside the federal court, the soon-to-be naturalized citizens were nervous yet excited that this day was finally here. Many have waited years to see this day come. I've been waiting 17 years for this moment. It's been a long time. <laughs> and how does it make you feel that you're going to finally become a U.S. citizen? Oh, it's... I've moved here when I was eight. I'm 32 now. And this is just home. I am just so excited. Where Sorry, I'm going to cry. That's all right. Where are you from? I am from Mexico, Guadalajara. As they entered the courtroom, they were followed by their family members, friends, and supporters. After pledging allegiance to their new flag, the new enrollees were greeted with patriotic songs by Dixie High School students and the Air Force Junior ROTC. The once foreigners to this land stated their names and their countries of origin. They then recited their oath and pledges out loud, swearing to uphold the Constitution of the United States and even fight, if necessary, for their new country. And uh, welcome as citizens. I hope you will all exercise better than some of us who have lived here for a long time the right to vote every chance you get. Uh, to exercise your, your freedoms that you know about from what you've read. They then celebrated their newfound citizenship by signing their legal documented papers. Something that I wanted for a very long time. Yeah, we knew when we got married that it was going to be a long trip, but... It was. Yeah, it, it this was. is the end of it. Yeah. This was the first naturalization ceremony ever held in St. George, but it won't be the last. They had to travel to Salt Lake maybe two or three times. Once to take an interview, once to take a test, once for their naturalization uh, ceremony. So that saved them three trips to Salt Lake City for a very important day in their life. Uh, they worked for at least five years to accomplish this road to citizenship. And they're to be commended for the hard work uh, that they go through to be a great new citizen of America. Gathering outside the courthouse with their family members, these new citizens waved the American flag proudly, knowing they are now legal and allowed to stay forever. In St. George, Melissa Anderson, CEC News.